so freaking awesome. Woo, you see that? Look at this. Pushing four foot, and obviously they can. I got visions on visions on visions. What is going on, guys? Howdy do. You know the drill, it is your boy, Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the channel. Hey, guy, boys. How are you, sweetheart? We are just getting up and started over here at the ranch today. We got all sorts of things to do. Tons of cleaning. We have to set up a whole bunch of baby snakes that I got also. All the baby snakes from Stone's house, the four baby Insularis, the three baby spitters, <laughs> and those seven yellow eyelash vipers the Chandler brought over there are here now. And let me ask you guys a question too. So now, see, this is Gobbles, and Gobbles is supposed to be a female, but she's kind of getting, see this little beard guy right here? What is that? Do only males have that, or do females get that too? I do not know. Comment down below on my turkey people. Just want to thank everybody that came out to Animal Con also real fast, and most importantly, thank you, Brian Barcheck for putting everything together. It was such an amazing experience, and it was great to finally be able to spend some time with my fans who travel from all over the world to come see us. And at Animal Con, I met this dude named Jason who hooked me up with so much wood. For some reason, it's been so hard to find wood in South Florida. Like, wood is so scarce, especially dragon wood, ghost wood, grapevine. Not only is it really hard to find, when you do find it, it's extremely, extremely expensive. So now, we got the plug. And man, some of these pieces are just beautiful. Like this ghost wood, two-toned ghost wood. Look at this. See how it's got the two different tones on it? It's just absolutely beautiful 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 pieces and we got a ton of a uh, huge big branching pieces we got a ton of big long pieces this is all dragon wood for the macaws it's like we struck gold my homie pulled up his whole truck bed was full probably 22 foot trailer completely full of wood and i greatly appreciate that so i'm gonna put his information down below if you guys need anything he's actually out of california but he can ship it wherever and he is the freaking plug and of course i had to hook him up with all my friends down here because everybody needs wood dude it's so hard to find good quality stuff down here for a good price like look at all this wood i hit the freaking lotto got enough wood to make a million cages hello alligators how are you guys doing you're getting nice and big oh man all right so we gotta feed them and then i'm gonna change out this water also later today we got stone coming over to do some stuff and franklin from raw fishing is coming over as well brandon's on kitty pool duty we gotta pressure clean these gross ass things take care of onyx's water bowl also all sorts of things going on over here look we're getting new windows and doors on the whole house very 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 excited about that man just have it all these these windows suck windows that were built with this house in 1995 so i'm getting all hurricane grade windows and doors I'm so freaking pumped about it. it's gonna look beautiful and it's all tinted too oh are you guys hungry you want some crock chow i got some for you crock chow hello crazy alligators Give you a whole bunch of crock chow before we gotta clean this. Finally, I got some funds together. Finally, we're gonna we're gonna start building the new alligator enclosure up front. I'm gonna have my buddy Coops by Joe come over and help me out with it. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Cause we gotta get these guys in a bigger area. Cause look, this guy's getting just too big. He's already pushing four foot, and obviously they can they can only be in here until they're four feet. So we gotta make some moves pretty quick. I love you guys. Look how big these emus are getting. Hey, Otis. What are you trying to eat there, huh? What are you doing? Hey, Gary. Big, beautiful birds. And also, before I left town, Vision delivered a huge shipment. Look at this. We got a gigantic six-footer. We got four, five-foot Visions. Dude, look at this. I got Visions on Visions on Visions. Like, they even go all the way back there. Look, it just never ends. The Vision cage is everywhere. So excited. So soon, Everything that is not vision cage in that snake room is going to be pulled out. Probably going to sell them or do something with them. I don't really know. But everything is going to be nice, beautiful vision stacks in the whole freaking room. It's going to look... Oh, I can't wait. Vision also finally sent me a logo to hang up in the room. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so pumped about this. Woo! Look at this! So sick. I'm going to have to move some paintings around up there so I can put it up at the top so you can see it in every single one of my videos. Boom! Oh, 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 and look at this! We got our baby yellow eyelash vipers. All gold babies. So freaking awesome. Woo! 
so excited, guys. For those of you that don't know, I have a Christmas tree eyelash viper. Chandler has the big yellow female. I used to have a yellow female, but she passed away before I moved out of the bokeh house. I am so, 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 so pumped to have yellow eyelash vipers again. The goldens. They're the freaking the cream of the crop, dude. Like, my absolute favorite. So, so beautiful. So we gotta go get some cages for these guys or some enclosures for these guys and give them nice little tiny setups. And that is what we're gonna do in today's video. Publix, I went to Publix because I ran out of the big ones here. But Publix normally has these smaller ones like I have the Wagglers in that are this size. And this is ideally what I want to use, but Publix was completely out of it. So I'm just going to make do with these guys, which will be totally fine. These Vipers are so small. They don't need it to be so high right now. Eventually, when they get a little bit larger, we'll upgrade them into some bigger tubs. But for now, this is the best way to keep babies. They're too small to be in a rack system. They can crawl out that little top part. They're so, so tiny. Definitely don't want to put them in a vision cage because they'll get right through the glass. So this is the safest way to keep them for now. And what I want to do first is I use my little soldering gun and instead of drilling holes and making sharp edges for everything, this is actually really nice because it just melts right through the plastic and then it kind of rounds out the whole thing so it's nice and smooth and it's not sharp on your snakes and they're not going to hurt themselves. So I'm just going to go through on each one of these little guys, poke a whole bunch of holes in just like this. Bada bing, bada boom, go around the whole thing. Hey, look who we got in here with us. We got, we got daddy daycare today. Hi, baby. So the next step on setting these babies up is I'm gonna take chicken wire and what we're gonna do is kind of make a little tiny platform in here for them to sit on. And obviously we're gonna, we're gonna fill these guys up with a little bit of water and keep the humidity really high for them because that's what they like. So I'm just gonna go ahead, save you guys the pain of watching me cut all of this and get it all to size. Almost done. Snipping these guys and then you see how we put them? Put them in there just like that. That way they have a little bit of a refuse place. These things aren't very tall. Normally, like I said before, I like to use the tall ones, but this is gonna work out just fine because they're so freaking tiny. Yo, check out what's happening right now. Check this out. The Mang Shan, we're about to feed everything today, but she's just sitting. That's actually my boy. He's sitting on the floor right now. You see his tail in the distance? He keeps flicking it back and forth like a little worm lure. And that's how they eat in the wild. They take that tail, they stick it up in the air like that, and then they wiggle it back and forth to mimic something that a bird would eat. And then when a bird comes close, boom, game over, lunchtime. Let's see if we can get a little flick. Woo, see that? So how freaking cool is that, guys? Ah, oh, man, I love these snakes. So rad. It's a completely different color than her entire body, so it looks different. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool, right? I love this one. This one's probably like my favorite snake you have. So pretty. Mine is that they almost killed you like 500 times. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. So sweet. He's a handsome man now. Are we keeping them all? Yeah, we're keeping them all. Gianna's favorite color. They're Yellow. so little. So tiny and cute. What do they eat? They eat little pieces of pinkies right now. Little pinkies, little frogs, little little mice, or uh, little lizards. I do not want to see you feed it. I know, Gianna loves frogs. Especially all the tree frogs on the property. Every time there's a tree frog somewhere, which is 20 times a day, Gianna has to make sure I see how cute it is. They're so fucking cute. I'm so happy that they're yellow. Would it kill me? Would that kill me, that little if I held it? It could. could have a deadly reaction to their venom, but normally their venom is, it's mild. Could, like a hog it'll definitely put you in the hospital. Definitely need some anti-venom for those guys. Not the worst thing in the world. Not gonna kill you super fast, but they're still, have a very potent venom. And I think, I honestly, just because I've wanted yellows so bad for so long and I used to have mine, I might just raise them all up together and just set up a nice big exoterra cage. Like this small exoterra right here. They make way bigger ones, so I might just get a bigger cage, set it up somewhere, and just have all the yellow eyelashes and a really awesome vivarium, a bunch of live planted, planted things. Woo! Look at all these cute little babies. Oh my God. Now they're on this little thing right here. You can see one of them just shed, but this is what we use, just like the chicken wire. This is actually plastic, so it's not very sturdy. I like to use the chicken wire because it's made out of metal. It's way more sturdy for these guys. But now it is time to separate these adorable little tiny golden eyelash wipers. So freaking cute. 
So I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna take them off one by one. I got this new awesome little hook. I have one like this that's red, but Midwest Hooks just started making these black ones. Midwest, you guys are the best. Tongs.com, hit them up for your tool needs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these babies right here, just like that, and then we're gonna separate them one by one. Hopefully they all stay there and don't get all crazy, because then it'll be a lot of fun trying to catch a bunch of baby vipers. So now we have wet paper towels. I might fill it up a little bit more with water here in a little bit. And then this is their little refuge area for them to stay, for them to stay on and chill. So that way they're not in the water all the time. Keeps them nice and dry up there. And then we can put little frogs or little lizards in here and they'll just eat them. And the reason why I want to separate them is because they will actually eat each other like the Insularis will. So you want to keep them separate, not only so they don't eat each other, but that way I can really keep track of who is eating and what's not eating. So we're going to have little individual index cards for each one of these and keep track of the feeding and get these guys nice and healthy before we set them up in their forever enclosure. So here goes one. Go ahead and put the top on this guy. Boom, there we go. One down, grab another guy. There's no water in these yet, but I'm gonna water them at the end. So this little piece, of, make sure it's bent correctly. All right, let's grab another one of these. Beautiful, dude, how freaking awesome. How cute is that? So adorable, God. I, I love eyelashes, they're just so freaking cool, man. And they come in a variety of colors, not just yellow. The one that we bred it with, my male is a Christmas tree. The Chandler has the yellow one. So you get a variety of colors, and I just wanna make sure that, uh, gotta make sure that this freaking chicken wire isn't all the way touching the top. Getting the view over a little tiny bit, sir. Excuse me, little sir. Move over for me so I can put the top on here. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. All right, let's use my tools. They can still pack a punch at this size, okay? The venom yield obviously is not as much as an adult would be, but it's the same venom, no different properties at all. Babies have just as strong as venom as the adults, they just don't have much of it. Now this is number three. We got seven total of these that Chandler brought them over to Stone's house and I picked them up last night. So there's number three, this is number four. They all look beautiful. And Ryan Gradley, he was over helping Stone and him were feeding and taking care of Chandler's snakes while he was recovering. So thank you, Ryan, for getting these guys eating. I'm going to let them chill for today, give them a good 24 hours in their new setups just because they're trying to get used to the whole new environment, you know what I mean? So I'm going to let them just chill out for a little bit, and then we're going to chop up some pinkies tomorrow and try to give them their first meal here at Rider's Range. And also, you guys just saw the mane with his lure tail. It's really hard to see on these guys. You see the very tip of that tail? See how it's got a little white worm on it? They do the same thing that the Mangshan Vipers do. They sit there in the wild, they flick their little tail around. A little lizard or a little frog thinks he's about to get a worm. Bam! He's lunch. These guys are great climbers, so using a hook is perfect for them. They're not like a rattlesnake or something that's going to be uncomfortable on a hook and try to get away from you and be all crazy. They actually feel nice and secure. They think they're on a branch, which is perfect. Just two more. Put this little guy in here, and then that little guy will just stay right there. Put some water in these guys. Oh, drop the hook. Thank you. And then that's it. The final guy. We'll just leave that in here. One of them shed, so I wonder which one it is. It's probably that super bright one. So it looks like all these guys are dark colored, so they actually might be going into shed. There's one shed, and they're obviously were born at the same time, so they're probably on the same freaking shedding schedule. So they might not even eat tomorrow if they are in shed. Maybe the one that did will take something. We're gonna try it anyways, you know what I mean? Look at that. All set up in their new Temporary enclosures. These are just little grow out bins. Maybe keep them in here for a few months and then upgrade them into something larger. Eventually, an exoterra. Beautiful! Ah, gotta be done. Now, the hard part of feeding them. It's always the worst part about having little baby vipers. The insulares that are a pain in the butt to feed. Eyelashes are very similar. They're hard to get to eat, but hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get them to slam down some meals. Brayden over here. Hey, Blinken, you're gonna have to learn how to uh, feed these baby vipers very carefully. How come you got a shirt off still? You just like being shirtless? Shirtless Abe Lincoln, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to do with my shirt. It is hot. It's hot outside. It's beautiful in here, though. We gotta get these guys set up also. I temporarily put them in here. We move them in these little deli cup things. I just wanted to get them in something better in uh, secure so we have the uh, I'm not gonna take this out but we got the baby black and white spitters there's three baby wet black and whites and then we have all the little baby insularis too just four of these guys left it took me a while to get over to stones and finally move them over here everything's just been so crazy being out of town and having all this stuff at the property to do stone did a great job for me taking care of them thank you so much bro I gave stone I think one or two that he picked out and uh, I think one of them actually ate two babies because 
we had them all together. It was hard for us to feed them. So Stone just kept throwing in little baby frogs and little baby lizards, which we gotta go find later today and fill them up. Maybe we can go by where my well is over there. It's nice and wet. There's little frogs everywhere over there. So we're gonna go catch some frogs later. I got some pinkies thawing out for these black and white spitters. Franklin is out on his way here right now. We're all fishing. We're gonna make some videos. Stay tuned for all that stuff, guys. It's gonna be super funny and cool. His, his video styles are, they're freaking absolutely hilarious. So he's coming over, Stone might be coming over. We're gonna do some stuff around here. That is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. God bless, follow your dreams. Yes. Keep your families nice and safe and love. Right, baby? You do so cute. I oh, say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Wanna give me a bye-bye? Bye. Give me a bye-bye? Oh, well, you're eating right now? It's okay. You guys know the drill. Tyler Nolan tattoos. Say bye-bye. Give me a wave. Oh, you got a full mouth. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. Oh, you're getting so big. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. That's the best. Like, dude, she just learned how to kiss, like, maybe, like, a month ago. We finally, if we ask for a kiss, she gives us kisses now. It's, dude, it's the freaking, oh, it makes me melt. It's the best thing in the world. I love you guys. Thank you. God bless. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Go get some shirts. Support Riders Ranch. We appreciate it. See you all in the next one.